all, I don't believe in dumb girls. Don't get fooled. The sound of the final buzzer means it's hangover time. So grab a drink and join your host, Alphonse Sidney, for a Miami Heat Beat post game show. Heat win! Heat win! Man, that was an impressive win against one of the teams that everybody's super excited about this season. This is a young team, a fast team, an athletic team, a team that doesn't give up as noticed by the fact that they cut a 26-point lead down to a six-point lead, right? This is a type of team and the type of game that the Miami Heat lost all the time last year, even the year before as well. Like, they would lose double-digit leads all the time. And one thing I noticed once again is that in the fourth quarter, they had about an eight-point lead. Jimmy's on the bench, and before Jimmy can come back in, it, put, it got pushed to a 13-point lead. That did not happen last year. They have other guys that can lead this team when Jimmy's on the bench. It's a lot different. And the one thing I will say, I already said a bunch of things, but one thing I'm going to say, and I, this is going to hold true, I think, for the rest of the season, even as this offense struggles, as shooting struggles, shooting slumps, offense slumps, Good defense does not slump, right? And this team, no matter what, they couldn't shoot worse shit in the third quarter, right? They only allowed the Charlotte Hornets, the best offensive team in the league, 29 points. Every other, every other quarter, 22 points, 24 points, 24 points. Once again, they have not allowed a team to score over 100 points in regulation in 2021. That shit does not happen anymore. I am Alphonse Sidney, a.k.a. Alf954. Welcome into the Miami Heat Beat post-game show, Hangover Time. Brass, take me out. Let's meet the panel tonight. We are out here, Moose. <laughs> it tastes delicious, don't it? Ooh, oh, that half on here know. like Win dixie getting it, boy. Oh, Did you good. order it off the box? Man, no, because you know what? It tastes even fresher after all this time. <laughs> Y'all wanted him gone. <laughs> I mean, who would say something stupid like that? Who would say something stupid like Trey oh, Tyler crazy. Hero? I mean, my fans out here average like 25 Ooh. a game. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, greatest player in the world. Moose, I'm going to let you, before we even find out what we no, I'm going to what we're drinking, but I need you to hit me with a drip drop because it's Friday night. Brass, let's find out what everybody's drinking. Let, make him wait. Make him wait. Oh, we're going to make him wait. All right. Make him wait. Make him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just look. I you I can't see the Twitch chat. I, this Me is second. Me what either. is going on? Like I Oh, you I'm know what? I bet it's because they changed the fucking settings. That's what I think happened. Who they, changed they change it to to uh, so now our our Twitch channel is Miami Heat Beat. It's oh, not Miami Heat Brian. Beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boo, Brian. Boo. Everyone, boo, Brian. Boo. Take me out, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Did we let people know that that was a thing? Well, it won't really matter to them. The, 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 it's all right. The because chat is up. They can chat. We just can't put the. Uh, uh, we can't. We see, can't put uh, it up. We can't put it on the screen. I'm going to put it on my phone real quick. But That's anyway. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I was wondering because I was producing WAP today. I'm trying to put up uh, funny uh, funny uh, comments. I'm having like retype Shemith and Shmolnik. Oh, man. You're out on an <laughs> island there. Yeah. I got it on my phone, but. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That would make anyway. sense. We'll just call them out. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Let's let's move on. All what right, Moose. Go ahead. What are you drinking tonight? But and oh, you, go ahead. You can also hit us with a drip drop because yeah. Tyler here was out here showing and proving. Can't see it, but shout out to the chat. I know they're hitting me one time, but I gotta hit the people with it. The monkey shoulder is back. I saw the comments, people. I'll get a fresh bottle, but we're gonna. It's back for the weekend. So uh, yeah, I got my cereal. Got my monkey shoulder. And I'm gonna hit the chat. One time with a drip drop. Hey. 
<laughs> We're gonna be doing that shit a lot this year. Tyler is out here killing it, Tim. <laughs> yeah, Moose is getting alcohol poisoning for sure. <laughs> so I'm on Moose. Moose how many? Poison. How many Fruit Loops has Melody eaten by now? Right. That can't I'm be healthy. You, you she's got. So, you, she's you, so overweight right now. It's not good, actually. <laughs> you know, you know, Moose got. Melody's got to get on that culture <laughs> shit, man. Oh, boy, oh, oh. You no, know, no, Moose got roaches. You, you know, you he can't pick up all that cereal. <laughs> and you know, there's dust and shit. The the the. the you sugary. know how easy it is to pick this place up, like. Boom. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Just the whole right. place at one time. Just, the just, whole just pack up. You don't like even this. need a. You don't even need a Roomba. He need a buff. And you said it phone up, Tiff. Right. The whole place just collapses. A collapsible tent. He take his. He take his apartment outside and shake it. <laughs> like an old beat rug. Beat, beat, it up, yes, like beat it with a broom. Beat with, exactly. Exactly. Tiff, what right, are you drinking right, tonight? I'm on that Tito's and Sprite, by the way. All right. I'm on this. I'm on this uh, gin. With some fresh lemon and fresh lime, and let me just say, Moose, I'm driving the bus, I'm pumping the gas, I'm cleaning the windows. You got the first seat. That's Every the week, Tyler Hero bus. We, we on. on that Tyler oh, bus, man. Okay. I don't know what show y'all was watching last year talking about trade show. Tyler it Hero. That, first of all, that was a long, long time ago, and it show. wasn't this show. That I would, I want somebody to prove it. Don't go, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't look, don't, please. Don't, don't, don't try too hard. <laughs> Brass, what you got on a Friday night? Uh, I made a, I, by the way, I just got done with this massive editing job. I was editing uh, the New York Emmys for the last month, so I am like exhausted. I had two hours of sleep, but I am here for y'all because I love you. And so I made a drink. Uh, this is actually, I, I made a double. This is my second double tonight, so I'm feeling it already. I made an El Dorado <laughs> punch because we punched those fucking hornets in the mouth tonight. In the uh, mouth. So this is, this is uh, brandy. It's a Jamaican rum. It's bourbon, lemon juice, and simple syrup. Nice. Some somebody, two people in the chat are. Uh, Fez asks, "Does Melody have cakes now, like Kyle Lowry?" Uh, <laughs> and another person says, "Kyle Lowry ass, that's for sure." Uh, somebody else said, "Yeah, uh, right now." Melody is built like Kyle Lowry now because of all them hero Fruit Loop shits. Do they let uh, Melody in the kennel? Oh, oh, she runs the place. She runs that, that place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we got a we got a hype train going in the chat. Uh, y'all yeah. keep that going. I don't know how that works. We have we absolutely do. Here, let me let me. Well, we'll finish this and I'll call some subs. Brian, what are you drinking tonight? Brian does not come on the show nearly enough. Uh, and if you are if you guys are not following Brian for cap shit, like yeah. not cap, not lies, like uh, <laughs> cap shit. <laughs> no cap or, or the cap he's wearing, which is on sale on uh, actually on that the heat the heat store. Cap. Uh, but Brian has That's been breaking that. down the cap like nobody's fucking business. Brian Ellisberg. Yeah. Brian, what are you drinking tonight? That's actually a great merch idea you guys just came up with now. I should make like a cap, like cap hat for like no cap. No cap spoilers. Cap. No spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> just, just put it on the store. We got some cool <laughs> shit coming, by the way. But anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, what I'm drinking tonight, I was going to pull out a white claw that we lost, but since we won, I'm drinking Pinot Grigio. Oh, look at a man of distinction. I like okay. it. Okay. All right. Uh, Siobhan, double fisted tonight on a Friday? I only have one fist. I can go for oh, no. another. Um, but we have some Maker's Mark, some ginger beer, and a frozen Sprite, and some strawberries because fruits and vegetables. That's oh, pretty right. Well, Gotta stay healthy. Nice. I like, but listen, you may only have one drink, but you did it right. You are, you, you, coming, you coming at brass a little bit, you know? Brass Let me get him in the third season. He can have this one also. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Next year. Uh, so we got some we got some subs already. So uh, we have Tommy P four hundred one subscribe with Prime. Thank you for that. Uh, Floriba subscribe one month at tier one. Eric the Great five thirty nine gave out five community gifts. Uh, we love you, Eric. Oh Thank you. Uh, Mendelsi gave out. He subscribed with with Prime, uh, and that's all we got so far. So let's keep this hype train going, everybody. Oh, we got a new look, Brian. You you put the new tr- the the Twitch link in here. Yeah, the other Brian did, but yeah, I put it in That's there. That's what too. I was looking for. Okay, well, whatever. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Oh, Brian. Oh, we can put so that we're shit good up now. on the... I don't know how that shit works. I don't know that how was, to do that it. Was, that was some clutch shit this right there. Thank you. It. I did click it, but oh, then I lost well. y'all. <laughs> you got to have two screens, two monitors. I need yeah, to... yeah, yeah. I need Hope to... We did on a different thing. Well, I'm waiting on Brian to send me one. Yeah. All right, let's 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 talk about the game. Let's talk about the game. Oh, We're ten minutes in. Tonight. Let's talk about the game. It's big I win hit, hit the against one of the hotter teams in the <laughs> NBA. Allegedly, I hit the subscribers one time. Is this thing working? What's up? 
me hit you one time with a drip drop. I hate you. Ryan, you got a drink, man. Mm. Oh, that's right. My bad. I'm reading the comments. <laughs> People are saying so many. F- I don't understand. Like they, they're saying I look like I was at the Capitol in January. Why? Because I'm white. <laughs> you're new. You're new to our audience, Brian. <laughs> Welcome. They're embracing. Someone said you look like McLovin. <laughs> that I, I that I agree with. <laughs> Moose, that almost took I'm, me out. <laughs> Moose, I'm not gonna let you talk about Hero. I'm gonna let uh, the new driver of the Hero bus, Tiff, That's talk fine. about Hero. That's I fine. want you to talk to me about Jimmy Butler a little bit because. My man, every time uh, it looked like the Heat were getting lemon booty, um, <laughs> Duncan Robinson throwing it off the fucking shot clock. I don't know what the fuck he was doing on that. He was on that uh, Alfonso Ribeiro Carlton shit. Um, <laughs> Jimmy was out here, don't worry, mid-range, just getting to the basket, getting to the line. Whole team 19 for 19 from free throw line tonight. Mm-hmm. Let's, you know, what yes. the fuck? Can't um, under, understate that enough. That is huge. The one guy in the NBA still getting to the line with consistency. And honesty rule, and dignity. Rule <laughs> change be damn. Exactly. He, 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 all this fucking bullshit. <laughs> Real fucking bullshit. fouls. Real fouls. Moose, talk to me about Jimmy. What you saw from Jimmy tonight. I mean, listen, there's <laughs> not enough words to praise the the leadership that this guy is showing, the energy that he's playing with. I think having Kyle, having PJ, having other guys to pick up. Um, also, you know, Bam Adebayo being there to pick up some of the defensive role. And just to, it's not all on him every single possession the entire night, you know. And that allows him to be able to pick his spots and be able to put on the cape at moments as opposed to an entire half. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it was just – it's everything – Tonight felt like everything you wanted to see from this team. Granted, yes, there's things that need to be worked on, especially with Duncan, and we'd like to see Kyle getting going. But at the end of the day, big picture, this is what you want. You want to see Jimmy play like the best player on the court, and you want to see Bam Adebayo play like the most dominant player on the court. Tonight we had both of that, and that's a winning combination. You sprinkle some drip drop on top, <laughs> and we celebrate all weekend. See, you had to do it. I told you had no to. Tyler shit for you tonight. No you control. had to do no it. Control. I mean, come on, man. Get your, It's all that sugar from them heroes, man. I'm excited. They shit all kind of high fructose <laughs> corn syrup and shit. Uh, <laughs> Tiff. Yes. Tyler. Um, I mean, my man out here just... Uh, Brass, you got a, a clip of Tyler because I did a, a couple of people on the timeline were talking about how the game has slowed down for him, how he's doing things in the NBA he was doing in college. Like, Tiff, just look at my man right here. Like, where, okay, he got the switch. Cody Martin's a good defender, gets him in the spin cycle, and I mean, just gets to his spot and I mean, just does his thing where, you know, in the past, sometimes he might have panicked, passed that out. He is just, it's out here. He's playing at his own speed and everybody else has to catch right. up. You know what happened? He, he finally got an off season. Mm. I, and, and there's really not, he had this move already. He had this move last year and he had it the year before, but now there's patience behind it. Look at that. Right. That we, to, <laughs> Yeah. Right. But to, and to your point, if he, he would attempt this stuff last year, but poorly. Right, and then he right. would miss, and we'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing, Tyler?" Exactly. But but, but he made it. it. Like yeah. his his but mechanics are better. He's everything he's just... is better about it. His feet work. His yep. head. Look where his head is. His head is still up. He never dropped his head while dribbling the ball. Mm-hmm. He's still watching the court while he's making the move. There's patience behind everything that he's doing. There's thought behind everything he's doing. And my man just looks like he's having fun. Well, it's yes. probably That's good because he's he's been going up against his twin brother in practice, so he has no fear there. Right. But he's having fun, and that's the other thing. <laughs> like, Last oh, year was, Caleb? you know, there was pressure <laughs> because but, everybody mean, was coming for him. Like, they're coming for him now, and as we can see game to game, he's starting to figure out how defenses are playing him. He's starting and, to figure it out. Um, still a little careless with the ball at times, but that's going to happen. That That's just going to happen just because, usage, honestly – well, with the, the usage, usage and he's not a natural ball handler. So that happens with Jimmy because Jimmy's not a natural ball handler. Jimmy can handle the ball. So that's just going to happen. But realistically, this dude 
is the sixth man of the year right now. Right now. He's, yes. he's putting up buckets. His def- <laughs> Damn, I got Ric Flair over here. The, That's Hogan. De- That's Hogan. Is that Hogan? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. I just want to hear it one time. <laughs> <laughs> Melody is going Hit nuts. him one time with a six man, Moose. Well, Melody should yeah. be going nuts. She had half a box of heroes. I don't even know what to <laughs> All the but, no, but but seriously though, Alf, this kid has done wonders. And the fact that he has these KG vets that ride with him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's all it takes. Somebody to put a battery in your back and give you the confidence. And he's got all of it. Um, another guy who has a bunch of confidence, who's just out here playing a different game than he played last year, right? where uh, he's, Bam spent a lot of time guarding point guards at the three-point line. We talked about this a little bit before, but on a night where he gets 19 rebounds, I think he's averaging 16 rebounds a game That's this crazy, year. man. Like, for a guy that th- there was a lot of games, seven, six, four-rebound games for a center. Why? Because they didn't have guys who could stay in front of point guards. Now they do. Brian, like, Bam out of bio, rebounding, and the whole team rebounding as a whole, I mean – the Miami Heat are a good rebounding team this year, and I think it's a lot. It has a lot to do with their bigs being in the paint as part of the scheme. No, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, what you see basically these last four or five games that they've played, they're boxing out every single possession. They're they're attacking the offensive glass like I've never seen this team play before. It's it's incredible. Like even though the offense was pretty sporadic for most of that second half until towards the end of that fourth quarter, like. They gave him a chance to stay in that game, even though, you know, the Hornets won that crazy run because they were crashing the boards. And that's basically what's been their recipe for success. It's the, the defensive presence that they're having, you know, each possession. They're, they're just making every single shot a tough shot to make for, for the Hornets. But also, like, when you, when you have to play defense like that and you're going up and down the court, it's not easy to box out. I'm sure Siobhan knows. Like, that, that's not easy to do. That's all of energy that you have, you have to exert to also even come back on offense and push the pace like Kyle has been doing. So it's just, you can tell, like, it's it's, it's kind of the culture that the team plays with. They, they, they The reason why they're in world-class shape is so that they can match up against teams like the Charlotte Hornets. Right. And, I mean, Brian, that's a great point. Siobhan, we looked at this team last year get out-hustled all the time, right? Yeah. At young athletic teams bothered the shit out of them. They played the uh, prop, maybe the most athletic team in the league, maybe outside of maybe Sacramento, but I think they probably have have yeah. Sacramento when it comes to athleticism. They played the most athletic team in the league. That team came at them hard, took a punch in the mouth. They came back, knocked it down to six, and this team withstood and out-rebounded that team by 18 yeah. after out-rebounding the Nets by 20. <clears throat> like, what team are we watching? Yes, I think um, I think E. Reed talked about it, or was it might have been Crotty? They've um, approached at least the offensive glass with a different mindset. Whereas last season, it was a lot of um, you know getting back in defensive transition to set up for you know for the upcoming defense. They um, they've committed to sending guys to the board. They've committed to seeking out second chance opportunities. They were one of the worst um, offensive rebounding teams in the season or in the league last season. And they've made a, a conscientious effort to to uh, be better about that. I expected Charlotte to give them um, a little bit of fits because of their athleticism, because of the way they like to get out and run. And Miami played a poised control game from the top to the bottom. Everyone that stepped on the floor tonight play with a level of, of bodily awareness and just like centeredness, just a level of, of poise that I don't think that um, we saw them play with consistently uh, throughout the season last season. <clears throat> and then finally, um, to kind of touch on Tyler a bit, Tiff, you talked about, you know, what it's like to have uh, KG vets um, um, backing him. There was a point in the game, it was Kyle, Tyler, Max, Markeith, and Dwayne on the floor. And, and Tyler was handling the ball but was doing so with an onus of still trying to score. And whereas last season that would be kind of chaotic and look bogged down and like a bad offensive strategy. Now it feels like kind of the right thing to do. Kyle was right there and could have, you know, taken the ball and and set up a set, but he stayed kind of like off to the wing, off to the corner and, and let Tyler operate and pick his spots. And 
um, I think that that shows a lot about Kyle's, um, I'm sorry, about Tyler's maturation and just the confidence that this team has in that dude to let him do that and to not panic and, you know, just to not panic, period, when that team is making a run. Um, they looked, this was a good type of win for them. Mm -hmm. um, they were up big, got hit, like you said, got punched in the mouth and didn't panic, didn't flail. Jamie came in and was uh, Captain save -a but it wasn't even like a dramatic saving. Right. It wasn't like right. a, right. oh, right. God, please come get us out of it. It was, you know, come in, let me get my buckets. We're going to relax. We're going to calm down. We're good. Bam's fine. Um, and, yeah, just, just all around, they feel – like a much more composed team, and I, and I don't think that should be um should be understated. Um, the chat is saying that uh, Brian has AOL internet, <laughs> and that if somebody picks up the phone, Brian gets kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all lagging tonight, but they coming at you, Brian. But 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 <laughs> to, to Siobhan's point, yeah, the, I mean this team has got so much more poise this year because uh, so not only yeah, I mean they were they were so up wait, by wait. like someone said Brian uses a track phone hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> I got spectrum, guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, this team has a lot more poise. I mean, they were they were up by twenty six. I think the the Hornets cut it to six at one point, and it was like, mm -hmm. oh no! Like, I mean, holy shit! Uh, you know, my uh, yeah, Inglis would have been having a heart attack uh, if if he had been calling that game. <laughs> Lord, um, I and but but this team, but they get it. They He's get it together. Up, they man. weren't. They didn't panic. They didn't panic. They have. They have good composure. And also another thing tonight, they were nineteen of nineteen from the free throw line. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Which is really crucial because in Huge. those in these games when when you lose a, a you know when you're up by twenty six points and they cut it to single digits, those kind of things really add up. <laughs> and um, so I'm just I'm really impressed with uh, with the composure of the team this year. And when you're hitting 25 percent from three, you can't give away any other points. Right. Yeah. Right. To score 114 points and only hit nine threes, um, <clears throat> nine of 35, you know, get 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 nothing really offensively from your starting backcourt and to still win a game by 15 points against one of the hottest teams in the league. Like what's going to happen when this team just starts hitting 35 36 percent of their threes they're going to become very scary right i mean they, that defense ain't going to let up and then they're going to be able to score a little bit more and like there were so many wide open shots that these guys were missing and it wasn't just duncan it was a lot of duncan but it was like keith uh hero missed a couple wide open threes once some of these shit start falling it, it's a whole different ball game yeah. but and also and the, also lamello shriveled up to the lamello ball like shriveled up tonight he was well, nothing. He was that was that defense on that. Yeah, ass. he hasn't seen yeah. that type of defense. No, six no, points. Concerted, I mean, concerted, yeah. six consistent. points in yes. thirty minutes. Yeah, and then that's, that's a, a big start. Season, it's the first Two for fourteen on the floor. And they were letting him shoot. They were letting him mm -hmm. shoot from three. They were like, oh no! You. After <laughs> you, my brother. After <laughs> you. Um, <Be> <laughs> pie. <laughs> <laughs> what else could I get you, sir? While I wait for you to break this shit. Um, <laughs> Now, Bam tonight scored 26 points. And somebody the other day was, I was, I was watching with my boy Marcus the other day when he was creeping around in the background. You ain't got no toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. We, we had toilet paper. He just out here talking shit. I, we ain't that broke. He's got that one ply, um, that Kirkland. Um, he was saying, yeah, I think Bam had 20. He was like, I didn't even see him score 20. Because Bam is getting easy buckets that he has not gotten. And he closed the game getting a bunch of easy buckets, and that brings us to our ga 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 of the game. Mm -hmm. ga -ga 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 -ga. I don't want nobody to be mistaken. That's actual footage of me on a seven foot rim. Hold on, pause. okay. Pause. Copy that bit back. Jewel said Brian sends his emails on a pigeon foot. <laughs> Damn. Brian's never going to come on. I'm never coming back on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a night for us not to be able to put up comments. Oh, right. my God. Damn Brian should have never given us that, that little pop out chat. Now, yeah. now we can see yeah, it. Yeah, we'll fix yeah. that next time. You could have never skated. gave us money. <laughs> That too. <laughs> Add the right. money, y'all. <laughs> There's dial-up around. Um, oh. 
<laughs> Sorry. All right. So this is five minutes left in the game. Uh, Charlotte's cut the lead to eight points, right? Boom. Here's a slip. Bam. Look at that. Gah, 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 gah. Like, look at the amount of uh, of, of attention Tyler uh, yep, commands yep. at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And bam, taking full advantage of that shit. Olympian, and bam, out of bio. Olymp- and this is a gold this medal. is a pass that mm-hmm. Tyler couldn't yep. make last year. And that's what I wanted to talk about too, Alf, because the broadcast was giving Bam a lot of credit, as they should have, you know, saying Bam was closing it. But Tyler had this pass to him, and then I think like a possession or two later, Struz had a very similar pass. Yeah. So yeah, he's mm-hmm. finishing the play, but our guards are being like patient and like looking for the passing angle. Bon, and I think a- on, the, on the next possession. Well, Bond, that's a swing to uh, Kyle last year. Yeah, he would have swung that to Kyle and, and yep. just bailed out on the play. Yep. And then when Bam caught it, he would have took a dribble last year. So I mean, everyone's just being more decisive. So, so this is the next time down the floor. Five minutes left. Charlotte scores again, right? Yep. Boom! Oh, good pass. That was actually a nice pass, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, was that the that white was wolf? White that was, the was the white wolf. Sure was. was that the white wolf? <laughs> get this man a shield. Get this um, man. Someone get this man a shield. <laughs> Engage all defenses, <laughs> um, but, but like the pace, the pace is by Bam there, and, and the, like the fact that they 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 cut it to eight, right? They they cut it to eight. You put it to ten. They cut it back to eight, and you just keep your composure, right? Mm-hmm. This is something that was, and and I, I think Jimmy's back in the game now, but yeah. you know they weren't waiting for Jimmy to save them, right? Right. Again, this kick right ahead. here. This right look here. Look at that aggression. That's, that is that's that it. aggression we that's were looking it. for. Yes. That is what I'm saying when we need him to be the most dominant player yes. on the court every single possession. That's he literally he just it. shrugged him off like yeah. he wasn't there. That's More what we want to see. Do you mm. see these shoulders? Sit look at this. Down. Look at this. Is that Melo? You trying to get in oh, here too? No, nah, get, yeah, get out of here. You said you better get your brother, Kate Cody. Right? You better get more people. I don't believe you. <laughs> Bam's, Bam's stat line tonight, 26 points, 19 rebounds. I just want to say that Damn. he was one rebound away from having a double-double just in the fourth quarter, 10 and 10. That's, and like, that, that's game, what I mean. Yeah. But and then his that's, postgame said, I don't think I played well or I could have played better. That's what I, but well, then, I, I well, love to hear that. I love it. Yeah. But we heard that a lot last season. And this but shit felt but that was at, Yeah, but it was a game where he didn't play well. It yeah. was different. <laughs> That's that a was difference. 12 and 4 on 4 of 11 shooting. Yo, was like, yeah, yeah, brother, you could. I'm sorry, mom. Right. I'll try harder in class. Yo, he, he's the new Mr. Glass. Who? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what? He Damn. needs to be. That's, he has that's to be. how he's going to make the biggest He's impact. the new Mr. Glass. He's been rebounding that ball at a Oh, I high... thought you said he's fragile, like Samuel No, 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 no. I'm putting the spin no. on it. No, 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 no. No, no, I, 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 I no, was no, with no. Tiff. I, I knew no, what you no. meant. I was like, no, what y'all no, no, talking no. about? Tiff and I right here. And I was wrong earlier. I said uh, they rebounded them by 18. They re- I rebounded them by 23. Woo. They've out-rebounded their last two opponents by 43 rebounds. Right. Well, look at the simple little things. Deadman comes in and grabs six or seven. Mm-hmm. It's just yep. like everybody's going to the ball, yep. which is the best thing. This is this is what they need. Jimmy with ten, Tyler with a quiet five. Like mm-hmm. five is light work for Tyler. Yeah. Tyler's around seven, eight, nine every game. You know, um, he's got to play tomorrow night. I told him to take it easy. You know. Yeah, well, thank you for that, <laughs> Moose. You. We, right. Thank you for your service. Like, no, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I'm telling you, the fact that your power forwards are P.J. Tucker and Marquise Morris has a lot to do with it. They may not get every rebound, but they are boxing out. That's right? the thing. You don't have to get it. Keep someone else yep. on the other team. They're exactly. scrapping. They they're are they're scrapping. scary dudes, man. They are. <laughs> Let's just call it. I mean, man, they're, yeah, they're, they're intimidating. Yeah. Roger uh, Bell yeah. was on the Ringer NBA show. I actually listened to another podcast. Um, doesn't happen a Traitor. lot. Traitor. I was like, who does that? Yeah, I know. I, I hate. I well, what's a podcast? Yeah, it's, uh, it's someone a bunch of motherf- motherfuckers gonna be talking. <laughs> uh, but Roger Bell was just talking about like, watch out for the heat. Like these, they are not afraid to hit you, punch you in the mouth, play physical, old school basketball, and that's what we're seeing. Like they hold you to old school '90s offense, but <laughs> and then they out here. I mean, 
They're scoring over 100 a game. They're 114 tonight. Yep. And they still yep. have not found their offense, y'all. Yeah. Like, Kyle hasn't found his offense, Bond. Like, Kyle, has he, did he score double it. digits tonight? No. Duncan. He hasn't nope, scored no. double digits yet. Nope. Duncan was two for 11, two for 13, or whatever the fuck. They haven't found their offense yet. Can we talk but about you know it? one thing. One thing that Kyle has not done in Toronto is uh, that oh. he's doing in Miami is yeah. uh, he has not lost in this team's uniform. Oh yeah, sure. Mm. Undefeated with Kyle Lowry. That's a heat. It's the same. Mm. He's been so. doing that for years, apparently, to Raptor fans. But you what know did- what we did find? Who? Max Struess in the closing lineup. Yes, oh, but oh, as should have as it should have been. <laughs> Duncan needed to take a little second. Duncan needed a seat. He did. Been, every episode, I'm like, are we want to talk about it yet? Can we talk about it yet? You don't want to talk? Okay, we don't have to talk about it yet. No, but Let's not talk he, about was, it. he was clearly pressing. He was in his head. Uh, I, I was saying it in the chat, and I know Bond was saying, you know, Moose, that was a great point. You should bring that up tonight, that his feet are not always set. Like, it, it's, it's not yeah, – Bond knows what I'm talking about. Uh, yes. He just – I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't see that shit. No, no, no. Go, go on the chat. Go on the chat. You'll go ahead, Moose. You got it. As soon as he comes down from taking a shot, you can see on his face, like, he comes down and he's just not feeling confident about where he's landing. Like, it doesn't look like his feet are ever in a in a comfortable position for him when he's taking off or landing from his shot. They're always a little left, always a little right. So I'm glad that he didn't play in the fourth and Struess got in yeah. there. Just because I think at that point he was in his own head, let him sit, let Struess get the minutes. Struess was playing with high energy. Um, you know, Duncan will find his rhythm. He's an elite level score uh, shooter, uh, I should say. So I'm not worried about yep. that. I, I don't mean least, I don't I don't mean to interrupt. Tonight, just, I don't mean to interrupt. You can get back to that Duncan talk, but that bottle there next to you looks like you. They have like they sell a adult size bottle at Costco. <laughs> it looks. <laughs> Okay, it was like an optical illusion. It was yeah. tripping me out for a second. Okay, I thought it was big as hell. Jesus, <laughs> but you know what? This team is lucky. They're very lucky. You can sit a Duncan and bring in a Max. How many yeah. teams yeah. are fortunate enough to sit Duncan and bring in Max? And even in saying that, you got to recognize also that Max isn't a Duncan. Max is a bit more dynamic than Duncan. Max is a bit more. Sturdy. Kind of burly, yes, sturdy. He's a bit more burly, a bit more sturdy, <laughs> a bit burly, yeah. of a of a defender. And yeah, it is a, a luxury to be able to sit a Duncan and bring in a Max and someone that can replicate some of the things that Duncan does, but also give you some mm-hmm. other things. Like that passing. I, I was a little surprised that they didn't go with PJ or Mark or, or Keith because they had the lead. But I guess the lead, because the way the Hornets were coming back. And they kept coming back. You had to have scores. You had to have shooters, yeah. which is why in the past, when you needed to score in the closing lineup and the only two defenders you could put on the floor were Lowry, I mean, uh, were Butler and Adebayo, like you were, you, you'd have to have Tyler and Duncan out there. Now you have Kyle, Bam, and Jimmy anchoring your defense. You can throw out Hero and Struz and not really worry about it. And that frees up those guys. They mm-hmm. know that. So, I know that I have someone that's going to have my back if I do get beat, but I'm also not worried about getting beat. Right. So I'm a little bit more present and mm-hmm. not able to get beat. Like it's right. it's a it's a lot of mind things that go into all of right. that. I will say, uh, jo- Jordan D ninety nine asks, do you think maybe the pressure of such a big contract is affecting Duncan? No, not at all. no, no. no. Yeah, it's too late to worry about that anyway. Yeah. Get paid, getting paid. Getting paid. I think- I think it would have affected him more last year, thinking yeah, like, man, if I don't ball out, it. I'm not going to get the money. It's, it's, but he has guys, the money now. You guys remember how he was playing right before the trade uh, deadline last year? And then the trade yeah. deadline passed, and then he, yeah, he, he was able to settle. And he was right. balling. Yeah. I yeah. feel like there's going to come a point this season where like, where he realizes like, it's not all on me anymore. Right. I can play a little bit looser. Right. Um, like Tonight, I think someone put in the chat, uh, they asked Spo, how did he feel about Duncan only going two for 11? I think Spo said the only problem is he didn't put up 15. Like, that is the kind of confidence that they're going to continue to instill in him. Like, there were a couple times I, I was surprised he shot 11 threes because there were some times I'm like, shoot it. And then he passes up a good one. He's in his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he passes up a good one. understandable. Yeah, I would say if, if there was a – different. 
if there were a t- if there were like a twelve steps of of Duncan Robinson, like I'm on the step that's like mildly frustrated. I'm not like concerned yet, but I'm like I'm like okay, like it's let's get there. Let's go on regroup, regroup because we but, know we know you were really good. You were you were such a good shooter, and you know and defensively, defensively you you're not a defensive liability on the court. So like you can do this. Right. You can do this. And I think I think he's going to come around, but it's it might be taking a hair longer, but again, we're 2 weeks into the season. It's going to take a we'll long see. it's going to take a lot longer, I think. I because think he has to unlearn games. everything he did last year. Yep. yep. It's true. That's exactly yep. it. Um, Duncan is not a ten, Duncan is not JJ Redick, a 10-year, 12-year NBA vet right. who's mm-hmm. seen multiple <clears throat> offensive schemes. Right. Oh, this is where I fit. He doesn't know where he fits yet. Now, right. there's some things that are just inexcusable. Like, right. you, when you have the shot that you've been getting even before this season, you have to hit it. Or you right. have to hit at least one out of five. Like, there are some shots he got. Tonight, I felt like he was getting more of Duncan Robinson-type shots. Yeah, he wasn't and he was hitting. still breaking right. the shit out of him. Yep. Right. So, we, I was on the pod the other day with G, and um, shout out Danny Martinez. And a couple things were, were brought up, right? The spaces on the floor that Duncan occupies to get his shot, the spaces that he relocates to, if it's not on the dribble handoff, it'll be like on like some flare action where he'll space to the corner. And lineups where PJ is out there, that corner mm-hmm. is unavailable for him to space to because that is where PJ is going to reside. And it, it sounds like a bit of like fluff and some some, I don't know, like bullshit to say, but the ball change. I think shout out to Danny. He brought this up. The ball change, yes, the ball change for shooters might be fucking with him. Mm -hmm. Spalding balls feel different from Wilson balls that feel different from The Rock that feel different from Nike that feel different from FIBA balls. Duncan is a dude who doesn't have the ball in his hands a lot. He shouldn't be dribbling. He doesn't dribble, and so when he does have it, like the the kind of muscle memory, like in your hands, in your fingers, to get it and, and unload to be catching something that feels foreign. Like a split second of like, ugh, but then going into your shot can do enough to to throw it off. So I do think it might take a little bit more than, you know, a week or two. You know, I I, I actually hadn't really thought about that that much because I can't shoot. Um, it's a thing. All the you all give, the you give me any ball, I'm a miss. Yeah. They all feel well, different. It's the, that rub, You're when it comes yeah. off the tips, it's yes. different on right every ball. That mm-hmm. grain, because you can feel a grain right on the tip, Ooh. and every and, ball is different. And some of them shits are gross. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Fez Butter, by the way. That was the first I because I didn't know that they changed the ball. I saw that today on the timeline for the first time. He yeah. was the one that brought it to my We're, And I wonder if they if they practice with the new balls. Like, or are they practicing with what he's comfortable in to let right. him stay in a mindset of comfort? Or are they practicing with the new ones so he gets a feel of what nah, the new ones I, are? I would imagine at the Heat facility, it's all new balls. Yeah. Now, what he has at home, I, I who right. knows. $85 million dollars worth of balls. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. right. We're so going to be able to cut this home. up for uh, the next year's hotties. <laughs> <laughs> There's been balls, tips, In a ball gross counter. tips, gross grainy balls. Just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> um, we uh, <laughs> we got some more stuff. Real quick or? My, uh, yeah. <laughs> natural segue. <laughs> uh, Miami 117 gave out one community gift sub. Uh, Candela 360 subscribed with Prime. Miami 117. Gave out another gift sub. It's Thank two, you. two more gift subs. Quez three twelve zero zero one gave out ten Damn. community gift Damn. subs. Shout Damn. out Quez. Yes, Damn. thank you, Quez. Uh, Vain hype gifted uh, one month tier one sub to Lamelo Ball. We can always count on Vain hype. Shout out Vain. For, uh, for I love this bit. I really and love this bit. <laughs> and and Panther uh, Panther Prof gave out five community gift mm. subs. So you guys I'm pretty are sure Eric the Great out, also guys. did too towards the beginning of the show. I, I called that one out, uh, I believe. Okay. But uh, but yeah, I mean, Eric the Great, we know we know of his greatness. He's, he's just he's great. The best. He's the best. He's we'll the best. Appreciate the entire chat. Go ahead, Moose. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit him one time with a drip drop. Mm. Moose, just let you think you know. I embellish that shit? Right. Don't do that shit on the bus. <laughs> oh, the bus is going to be <laughs> in the passenger seat. <laughs> Me swerving. Tiff's going to be like, it's a train track. Fuck <laughs> up. 
opening that door. Right. Don't <laughs> boot his ass out. Kick, the door. kick me <laughs> the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, like, the, you know how some people have, like, <laughs> the horn? Mine's gonna be, hit him, ho one time, ho one time. One time. One time. Brass could be like, nice. Brass, that was it. <laughs> I'm getting.